there's a way out behind me. You need to leave. Only positive spirits are welcome here. No negative spirits. We are protected. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. The Hotel Roosevelt first opened its doors on May 15, 1927. It was an extravagant hotel where the top celebrities and public figures would stay. Some notable guests include Charlie Chaplin, Shirley Temple, and Marilyn Monroe. Due to its long history through the Great Depression, a series of overdoses, suicides, and murders are said to have occurred at the hotel. Many people have reported seeing a headless apparition coming towards them while others complained of televisions and sinks getting turned off and on on their own. There have been reports of instruments being played in the hallways, but when they go to check, no one is there. It is also notorious for people seeing shadow figures and feeling as if they're being watched. Hey Kel Cats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with some special guests. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm Mackenzie Marie. I'm Cameron. I'm Nikki. And we got Lola here, of course. They're all they're all just meeting Lola, so they're getting a little used to her. They're a little they're like over on the corner. Jesus. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's new. It's they're brand not new. they're not quite used to the ghost ghost stuff. I mean you are, right? I took a very deep gaze into her eyes and she's very calming. Yes, yes. He definitely has some gifts. You're you're familiar with some ghost <laughs> ghost stuff. She has like this haunted doll she was showing me that was pretty creepy looking. And then you guys are kind of But I, but I I'm open to it. I want to experience something. Right, you want to experience it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ready to have a good time. Yeah, she's just ready to have a good time. So we're gonna explore. We're at the Roosevelt Hotel. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I have been to this hotel before. There's a lot of haunted history here, a lot of uh, suicides, murders, um, people just coming in, heart attacks, like just a lot of weird deaths here. There was actually a security guard that showed us around last time. We're gonna see if we can find him, but I'll kind of explain as we go around the hotel the other hauntings. It's also known to be haunted by Marilyn Monroe. She's known to come and visit here as well. We did have that experience at Jasmine Chiswell's house with Marilyn Monroe, so maybe she'll come back and remember us. So, or remember me and Lola. I don't know if Lola was there. Maybe she wasn't, but we're gonna have a good time, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go do some spooky stuff. So, so the man, the security guard that um, we might meet up with tonight, he told me he actually found a dead homeless man over here on one of the couches. So they have weird stuff happen in this lobby all the time. They also do see the spirit of a young girl in a blue dress very often running around. She has like brown hair. They see her running around this lobby often. There was also a bar back there where they found like a dead person too. So like we like this is coming from a security guard like from the hotel he's found the body yeah. and there's just been weird experiences like in this area. Maybe we could do like a spirit box app in this area. We should. So I feel like it would be kind of interesting. What we picked up. What was that? Did you hear that? Hear what? That was like a loud bang. Something just moved over here as we're talking about spirit box. Oh, I think it's It's the expressive. Okay, Oh my god. <laughs> There's also a mirror upstairs where people have said to like take photos in front of the mirror and a woman appears behind them. A lot of people are um, think it's Marilyn. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it's Marilyn or not, but we could like see. We should try. I know, yeah, we should try to take photos in the mirror. There's also a piano upstairs that plays by itself that a lot of people, they see a man in a suit like playing it. I think it's a white suit, I could be wrong, but he's like playing the piano in that ballroom over there on the mezzanine. Wow. There's another story at the pool and I believe it was a brother and sister. The brother was trying to save the sister from drowning in the pool, something weird happened. I don't know how, but they both ended up passing away. So there's a brother and a sister at the pool. The security guard was sleeping one day and he said that he saw like, these little kids come up to him and go boo and like disappear. So that's something by, um, it's kind of by the cabanas. There's a lot of weird stuff that happened by the cabanas too. I think there was an overdose. I think Marilyn had a cabana, like some weird stuff too. This whole hotel is just super bizarre. The energy is just really whack here. I don't know why. I don't know if there's portals. There's a lot of mirrors here. I don't know. I do see someone sitting over on the couch under that lamp right there. 
Yeah, he sees them too. There's someone over there. There's someone sitting right there under that lamp. Wait, in real life or like in Ghost World? In Ghost World. But I feel like by the end of I'm really trying, but I don't see that. I think it's a man. Yeah, he's like sitting. I saw his arm. So the security guard didn't want us to go over there. I wanted to go see what the man wanted over there. He kind of seemed like he wanted my attention in a way. So this is the mirror where people think they, they've taken pictures and they've seen something standing behind them. I guess you have to take a photo. We have to take a photo. Yeah, someone take like, here, I'll take one on my phone. This thing is like very cool. Well, I mean, mirrors are said to be portals. I have seen things go in and out of I'm certain sure mirrors. I've seen like shadows come in and out. This, my chest really feels tight. Really? Yes. Like scary? Well, I'm like, I don't know, and my heart is just. He just feels it. You feel yeah. it. Even when I do my makeup, I'm terrified of mirrors. Really? Yeah. I used to be scared to look at myself in the mirror. No, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Because I literally will look at myself in a mirror and it, I'm like, that doesn't feel like it's me. Okay. Like, if you're like for too long, you're like, I don't feel, I don't feel like that's me. It's like an out of body experience. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've looked at myself in the mirror too long where I feel like it's fake. I feel like this mirror is a portal. Maybe I'm gonna use the spirit box app to buy this mirror to see if we can get anything. If you guys want to download the spirit box app, the link is in my description. Just be safe while you're using it. It said Kelsey. You hear that? Yeah. Hi. That doesn't sound good. I just want to talk to only positive spirits of love and light. No negative spirits are welcome here. Can the woman come forward to me? There's a man that says go home. Can the man... The man needs to leave. I only want to talk to the woman. Right, there's a man like coming through really strong. Can you tell me your name? Did it just say Matthew? Did that say Matthew? I don't know. I think it did. Did it? I'm like, did it cry? It was Matthew. <laughs> Matthew is like, oh, I got it. Like that. Yeah. What? Oh my god, I'm chills. Are you a friendly spirit? There's also a young girl here. Can you come through to me as well? No. Is it eight? Eight? My entire body is like blue and even spots right now. Do you see this? Oh yeah, she has goosey too. My whole arm goosebumps. Seems like they're all just kind of passing through. It doesn't seem like they're all like there's not one person that's wanting to like tell me anything because usually they'll come to me and tell me certain things if they really want to talk but these ones just seem like they're kind of in their own I don't know what they're doing. Matthew said go home. I don't know if it was Matthew. It was someone though. I'm, I'm not sure if it was him though because there's a lot here. Like, can you tell me how many spirits are here with us? Ten. There's at least ten. Oh, so there's a lot. There's a lot. Like, a, there's like a lot happening right now. Okay, but did y'all hear the growl in the beginning? Bob? Yeah, that didn't sound good. Oh, what was that? Also, what? It said Matthew, and Matthew was like, I just saw a little girl run. There was a little girl I used to talk to on a Ouija board, and she wouldn't tell me her name. She would just say eight, and I always thought that maybe it was a demon. Oh, that's crazy. Well, that's what I assume, but eight is also figure eight. Like oh, forever? I don't know. I was scared. No, no, I just like, had. Okay. Me and my friends played Ouija when we were really little and I had a house. Yeah. And there was like a little girl that it would always come back and she, we would say, What's your name? And it would go to eight, the number eight. Really? But there was one that ran by. She was, she was like booking it. She was on a mission. <laughs> wow. She was like going. I, she ran I that way. What? Not so yeah, she ran this way. I don't know where she went. That was a guy. There was a guy here. And at the Stanley Hotel, there's so many mirrors. And like a lot of the haunted hotels have a lot of them. And I don't know if that has to do with anything. 
Comment below if you think it has to do with anything. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going over here. I kind of wanted to see if I could get closer to this man. You see the guy that's sitting right here, so. He's standing now. Oh, he's standing. Yeah. It's like super hard to breathe. Do you guys feel it? Like it's <laughs> with my mask. I've, yeah, like in fact, I, I walk upstairs maybe, I don't know. No, it's not. It's just mask. hard to breathe over here. <clears throat> This guy, he's like dressed nice. Like he, I saw him earlier. He had money. Yeah, Did you? Like like yeah, we both pointed at the, the same. same yeah. What? He when was we like, he was like one of those guys who would drink like like whiskey and like had a lot of money and like smoke cigars. Oh yeah. Is it sir? <laughs> no, he, he's like a sugar, like a dream Come sugar there. daddy. Like, <laughs> let's see if we could get anything from this man. If we could get his name. I swear it just said Anthony. We all look at him. Wait, did you hear that? It was like Anthony. But yes. It's a yes. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll just talk to Anthony. Do you like Anthony? He reminds him of his son. His son. I said his son. He, it remind, yeah. You remind him of his son. That's interesting. I think he had a couple sons and a daughter. I think he would cheat on his wife. Yeah. He would you cheat on his in? wife. Yeah, I heard him. Yeah. He had a wife, but... Where's your wife? I feel like it didn't end well because he was like cheating on her. So as I was editing this video, I was looking up the haunted history of the hotel and I came across the photo of this man and he looked exactly like the man I saw. So I looked further into it and the man's name is Clark Gable and the woman with him in this photo is named Carol Lombard. Apparently their spirits make occasional visits to the hotel since this was their favorite place to go when they carried on their affair. Eventually Clark divorced his wife and married this woman and had a daughter with her. He also had a son. And he smoked cigars, so I thought that was really interesting to add in there. Is there different people talking though? Yeah. Some people are just on their own, like, conversation. And then sometimes, like, so the way that these work, so it it goes through, it's like a voice box. So it goes through all, like, there's already recorded things and hear moans and different things that they could manipulate into words. Yeah. So it'll be like a girl's voice, but it could actually be a man. Oh. Yeah. So it's like they just manipulate whatever's in the voice box. That's why I love people like, oh, it's fake. Like it repeats, but it's supposed, that's how it works. Yeah. It's supposed to repeat things. Oh, you know my name. They just know sometimes. <laughs> Right below is the bar where that guy died, or they say like he's always on the couch. The camera just turned on. Wait, just turned back on. I, got, I got that on camera. I one hundred percent got that on camera. Her camera literally flashed off. No, it went off then on. Tell me, camera just turned off. I wonder if I got. I literally got that on camera. Why did it turn off on? Oh my god, that is terrifying. Sometimes they use energy from whatever they can get, so they can use the camera. I don't know. I have the chills right now. Can we go to the door? There's a lot going on over here. We could go to the door. It's kind of cold by the door. Yeah, yeah. It's literally it's like cold by the door. I don't know. Literally been removed. I wonder why. Move away. Oh, I just got to let's not and say we did they didn't like i didn't like the door i have chills my whole body look at my boots they're so bad look no way the camera turns off the door says move away i did not like that door oh. it was cold over there like my, i have a goosebumps i literally door. could not have my back to that door would you guys really i'm so happy i was thinking the same i was so look at my goosebumps oh my like, like it's bad now. i'm scared Very it's a move away and it went i like felt Scared. <laughs> she felt. She felt very scared. <laughs> she goes. I felt scared. <laughs> I 
Okay, so it was so weird. Anthony was just like hitting the floors. We like, I don't know why you were hitting, you just hit I nine, just like he just hit the ninth floor. And this is one of the most haunted floors. This is haunted by, um, what was his name? Montgomery, Montgomery. Cliff, Cliff Montgomery. He's an old actor like back in the day. And he would play the saxophone, right? Saxophone? The trumpet. 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 I, I have a note in my phone which says which room was literally his. I think it was down that way. Cause that's where he was coming from. Kind of like 928. Yeah. It's that way. That's where he was. So sometimes like, I don't really see spirits. Like I see people like Amanda, like I just don't. But sometimes I do. So I literally saw a man like right here. He was coming from that way. And I jumped, like I like flew. So I got so scared. The only thing that we looked up was we looked up most likely ghosts to see. And the only thing it said was Marilyn Monroe's room was like, to, uh, 1200. 1200, yeah, that's it. But like, I don't know. Marilyn, I feel like Marilyn's a stretch. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Marilyn is like a stretch. I think she visits here, I don't think she stays yeah, here I'm often. Like, she died in one you know what I mean? Like, well, sometimes they just come back to the places where they have good home. memories. This was her home for two like, years, and I know that like she had like good memories here. Marilyn Monroe stayed at the Roosevelt Hotel so much that she had her own room reserved just for her. And since her death, many visitors staying in her old room, which is Suite 1200, have claimed to encounter her spirit. I, I think she visits here, but it was just weird that the man was waiting for me after you pressed that room, the that number. There was a door opening. But did, did you guys hear that? Keep getting whiffs of like really strong cologne. We all take our mask off. <laughs> I like fartage. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really strong, guys. <laughs> it's weird because oh, I got. I smell it. Wait. It's cologne. No, I just smelled it. Like a. But it was weird because the man was standing down here and I kind of saw him doing this. Like for me to come over here. There's definitely, There's definitely There's people staying in these rooms, but I felt he wanted me to come over here and I just smell his cologne like so, like it's, you yeah. can smell it, right? And he wants you to get used to the smell of him. I don't know. <laughs> Ew. What do you think he's trying to do with her? Push her down on the bed. <laughs> Remember? Oh, that's what he so does that. That's what they say he does. I swear Wait, say that one more time. That. They say that Cliff Montgomery will like push you down on the bed if you lay in the bed. He'll like push your chest. Like on your chest. Wait, why would he want to? He died of a heart attack. You, I thought you meant he tried to mount her. No, I was. <laughs> that, that was a joke. I mean, it would be like a fun time, I guess. <laughs> Can the man who showed so me himself awful. earlier come through? Can you tell me a name? Hello, hi. Can you tell me why you're here? That said Monroe. That said Monroe. Is that why you're here? I was so, so bored. It said for her. Said for oh, her. I'm literally so hot right now. It's <laughs> really hot. I'm getting I'm getting cold. I'm like hot, but I'm fucking I'm hot. freezing. Oh my god. Are you here for Marilyn? Yeah. Why are you here for Marilyn? That's weird. Never left. Someone said never left. I don't think it was him though. Someone just said that. What was that? That was like Spanish. Are you stuck here? That said visita. That said I see death. That's what I heard What? Too. In Spanish it is? No. In English. Oh, in English. It's like, I see death. I thought it was only in Spanish. Recita means then. Like is someone it? over here. I thought it said like recita. What do you see? The man. Walk. It's Did a it walk. just say it walk. said walk? Walk. It said walk. 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 Should we walk? Hold on. Okay. Go. Yeah, yeah, no. Wait. Can you please walk the other way? Please. He was like this tall. He was tall. This guy. Cliff was? Really? Oh my gosh. He was wearing a darker suit. It looked kind of brown, like a suit, like a dark brown mm -hmm. with like dark brown shoes. And he had darker hair. Does anyone know what Cliff looked like? Maybe we could get a picture. He's, right He's still here. He's okay. Cliff. He's got a very distinct look. 
All I know is that he was an actor. He's pretty like young looking. He's not super old looking. Yeah. Montgomery. Oh my god. Is that him? Okay. <laughs> what the? That's, That's Montgomery Cliff. Yeah. It is. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. He was totally wearing like a brown suit with his little collar popped out like that. And, he's and like he had dark hair. Him. I said dark hair. <sighs> but were you getting like good vibes or do you think it's someone trying to pose? No, no I, I think it was him, but I think he's like, kind of like, this is my hallway. Like, get like, out of here. What are you doing here? You're interrupting. Like, this is my space. Like, I don't know. I don't think he like wanted harm to us, mm -hmm. but I think that he was just like, like this is my space. Like, it's Dude, that's crazy. I told He's right here. He's like walking us out. He's walking. Wait, how did he die? I don't know. Did he do a lot of drugs? I have no idea. There's someone coming to me and they keep showing me a lot of pills. Like Marilyn, that's how they say Marilyn died, was pills. And he said he was here for her. But it's a man showing me the pills, that's why I'm confused. As I was editing this video, I looked more into Montgomery Clift and I found this. It turns out on May 12, 1956, while driving home from a party held by his friend Elizabeth Taylor, his car crumpled into a phone pole, nearly killing him. He survived, but he had severe injuries. This led to his addiction to alcohol as well as prescription pills. Then on July 23, 1966, Montgomery Clift died of a heart attack. Room 928 is the room that Montgomery stayed in while filming From Here to Eternity. When he was staying there, he would practice playing his trumpet while rehearsing his lines. There have been many hotel guests that have complained about his ghost moving around the room and shifting their luggage around. They've also complained about seeing him in the hallway rehearsing his lines and playing the trumpet. So we're, we're hanging out in the room. She jumped over here. She was so scared. So we were playing with the uh, dowsing rods and they were asking questions. She asked like, is my last or my middle name, what was it, Anne or Anne. something? And something that you didn't know, right? Yeah. So they said no. And then, um, they asked a few other things, but I started getting like a warning. I just kept getting this warning. Like sometimes like I'll get a weird feeling in my left ear if there's like a warning. It just keeps on saying yes. Yeah. Should I put this down? This is freaking me out. Yeah, put it down. There's something here. I don't know where it came from. It said like big yes. <laughs> yeah, like, um. Oh, I'm getting like a tingle. This is freaking me out. We only want positive spirits here. If any negative spirits are here, you need to leave now. You need to leave now. There's a way out behind me. You need to leave. Only positive spirits are welcome here. No negative spirits. <laughs> we are protected. Say no. Put it down. Put it, put down. it down. Put, put it, it down. down. Get out. I oh think we're my good. god. I'm literally gonna start <laughs> crying right now. This is so <laughs> creepy. Hold on. Are those fingerprints from you pushing up the window? Because I don't remember seeing that. Whatever I saw wasn't, like, it didn't. I don't know. Did you see, and your eyes were closed, but you were saying, get out, get out now. And, and the rods were like, turn yeah. out. They were saying, no, no. no. I, yeah. I had to just, like, focus on it because sometimes. I don't know, they'll show me some things that are, are kind of disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something in here. This is when Amanda needs to be here. Cause... Wait, what so, do you think okay. that was? It was... Uh, Sorry, I'm so close to like, my hands. No, you're not. She's like on me. Sometimes, <laughs> and they're all like on me. Like... <laughs> So sometimes we're when we do these things or we communicate oh with um, the other side, things come through sometimes that aren't good. Um, with everything, there's positive and negative, and there's def there definitely was something very negative here, demonic, that came in. Um, I don't know. I think they just knew we were messing around, wanted to come and like be like, "Yo, we're here," you like, know, let's like play. let's go and. 
but I knew they were here because that's sometimes how like possession happens when like people have horrible like experiences they don't know when to stop but because I do have gifts I got like this warning in my left ear it's like a it's, it's like a weird feeling I get but then I did see a dark shadow and I didn't really want to like look at it because well, it's kind of creepy. Warning, the just kept on repeating yes yes, 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 yes. Lola was trying to like make us stop and she then it like, said get out and it said no 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 mm -hmm. no Kelsey was like yeah I was out, like get, get out, out and I guess it kept going no. Saying no but I was trying to just block it out because Sometimes they'll show me really bad things, like disturbing things, just to try to scare me. Because they like fear. They like fear. So like when you get scared, you know, they oh. like it. Did you show me? He's <laughs> like running. You know what? This that might have been like a good reason. Like we didn't play the board because what if it would have shown up? I think Lola knew what was there. Yeah. What was yeah, kind of like I, I don't coming? Don't play the so I went and got a room just because we have so many people. I was like, I should probably just get my own room. I asked. I was like, so is my room on? I was just like joking or whatever. And he was like, yeah, as long as you're not in the cabanas by the pool, you're good. This is what he said. And so we're going by the cabanas. We can't go by the cabanas. No, he said. No, he said we shouldn't because that's worse. because it's super haunted over here. Oh, I don't like this area. So sometimes when spirits like show me like what happened to them or show me certain things that happened in their life, my they show me like pain. So my neck like started hurting really bad after we walked up these stairs. I don't know if someone broke their neck on the stairs or if someone hung themselves here, but I do feel a lot of weird like kinks, like a kink in my neck as if someone broke it. I feel like we should do I thought the same thing when we were walking from down there. Like my you? neck was bothering me on this side. Really? I was even really? Yeah. really? I feel That's like nice. we should do the spirit ball. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. Did someone break their neck? Uh, no. Did someone fall down the stairs? Um, can you tell me what happened to you? I heard I fell. Yeah. Yeah, rolled. I feel like they were like maybe drunk or something. Like was I it didn't an accident. The light. Oh, there's a light right there. Like someone fell down the stairs. I think they fell down the stairs and like broke their neck. The light on your camera is getting brighter. Oh my god. Look, the light on your camera. Dude, I look like I'm in heaven. <laughs> is that focusing? The camera's not working. Can you tell me your name? I heard someone crying. Did you hear that? I heard someone like Okay, you know how we were talking about the neck being broken? That guy's being strangled in this photo. <gasps> what the f Bro. I did not see this. Look, there's a guy being like strangled. You could like barely see him up there. She was just talking about her He's like being starting. strangled. What are the odds they put a picture like that right next to the stairs where I think someone broke their neck? That's weird. <laughs> like, that's... Why would they hang that? I guess it's like art. I don't know. <laughs> That's just kind of and weird. Are, like pretty normal photos. Like people trying like, to why is someone being strangled? That's kind of weird. That's really weird. I don't like that. <laughs> are you saying things here? In the hallway. Who did I hear crying? Did you say Myra? <laughs> I'm like talking to each 
other. They're like conversing with each other. Yep. You can like hear them. They have a very interesting selection of art in this hotel. They definitely do. No, they do. They do. Yeah, so this pool is said to be haunted by like the little boy and the little girl and like other spirits. I think Marilyn's been said to be like seen by this pool or something. Alright guys, so some crazy shit happened in their room. Their room just had really dark energy. There was something that just kept coming back to the room and it started banging on the walls. I wasn't recording, I was more focused on the session with whatever this entity was. But they all ended up leaving um, just because it got really intense. I don't blame them, but I am here at the Hollywood Roosevelt by myself spending the night. So this is gonna be very interesting. Um, I'll try to record myself sleeping a little bit, see how long my camera could record for, but <sighs> I got Lola with me at least. Lola's here. I mean, this room, I don't really feel anything bad in this room. It's so weird, like their rooms felt so heavy compared to this room. I. I don't know what it is, it's just weird, but I really feel like peaceful in this room, so I hope that I don't have any weird paranormal experiences. There was a younger boy in this hallway earlier, but I haven't seen him since, but that's pretty much all I've really like seen in this room. So I'm actually gonna ask Lola and see what she thinks of this hotel room, if she thinks that there was something weird in the other one. Let's see what she says. Lola, am I safe in this hotel room? Yes, she thinks I am. Was there a younger boy that came to me earlier? Yeah, I think Lola was kind of like hanging out with him. Are there any negative spirits in this room? No, okay, that's good. I mean, I don't feel anything negative, but sometimes I just don't know. I just heard something in the bathroom. <gasps> okay, I don't know what is happening. There are things like falling. Oh my god. This just like fell. Okay, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Let me see if there's anything. What? What was that noise? I don't know. This hotel is just weird. Like, weird energy. Was there something demonic in their room? Yeah, she's like, yes, there definitely was. Lola, do you like this hotel? It seems like she's a little iffy about it, but she's going more towards yes. Okay, I mean, that's good, I guess. Lola, will you protect me while I'm sleeping tonight? Thank you, I appreciate it, please. All right, I guess I'm gonna try to go to bed. It is 2.43, you guys. 2.43. I'm just gonna stick Lola. That'll make me feel a lot better.
So I ended up actually sleeping pretty good there. There was the young boy that kept coming into the room. There was also someone else, but I wasn't really sure. I just kind of like kept my eyes closed and just went to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Mackenzie Marie's video as well. Give that like button a nice little tap for me. Also hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video.